Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. This is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf uh, run. We are in month number 14 or 15. And boy, oh boy, we're needing to defend the Avenger yet again. So, this time we're being attacked by the Hunter, our typical team, Scythe and uh, Roby are defending. We upgraded our weapons a bit and I know that the last battle was quite a drag. I think this time we should be much better off. Mainly by going on to Overwatch. Oh well. I should have put Roby into cover. It's not clever going on to Overwatch whilst you're in the open. Good, let's see whom we're fighting against. So, the Hunter, certainly a force to be reckoned with. Can be hit from high ground. Well. Not necessarily our strong suit here. Um, he can teleport after taking damage. Mm -hmm. Kinetic plating, can summon presets, bad. Can return fire and regenerate. So I gotta kill him relatively fast. Good. He will have sword side, so he will use his tracking shot ability as long as we're in combat. We just picked up a unique signature. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. I'm wondering why this hasn't triggered our Overwatch. But fair enough, I mean we can still attack them. Probably will go for the mech first. Okay. Let us position so that they will not find us. Dragonova moves over. Alright, again only two towers are useful. Hitting the shield bearer first because uh, that way we can execute him next turn. He's usually taking cover. The mech and the berserker are not taking cover. So they are now easier to hit after we pulled it. That's why I started with um, the shield bearer first. The mech is our highest priority target. Fortunately, 75% shots seem to hit uh, only very irregularly. We can finish the mech. That's one down. Here we go. Let's get this berserk down. Nice. Well done. Moving closer. There we go. Hair trigger. I mean, I'm tempted to go here, but I know there's another pack waiting just behind. 
So we do have Untouchable currently. Can't really get a good flanking position. We could go to here. But again, that's probably going to trigger the pack. I don't want to do that. So we're taking a 50-50 shot. Untouchable. There we go, buddy. Nice try. And now we're going to get the tracking shot. That's the only really annoying part of all of this. An alien patrol. Those guys will be triggered very soon. And I bet you it's not only the two of them, there is probably something else. There's the tracking shot. Yeah, sucks being tracked. Softening him up. You know what? Might as well run him down. Hmm, this is dangerous. There could be more. Carefully moving closer. Those guys haven't been pulled yet. Four berserkers? Are you effing kidding me? Yeah, we could also try to pull those uh, guys here. I think we're better off starting to destroy the car here. Nope, we're definitely not going to attack those, but we can certainly attack the Berserks. Nope, unless we can dead eye 100% him, which we can't. Might as well move a bit back. Don't want to be spotted out. Overwatch. And you know, Roby. Roby takes an Overwatch as well. The Berserks are completely lost. And I love it that they don't take cover.
Since no one sees us, the hunter basically cannot do anything. No tracking shot if no one sees us. There we go, slowly but surely. <laughs> Very nice. Still not high enough um, aim to kill them. I almost want to use a shrapnel grenade here just to speed up the process. Yeah, we gotta. They start with blind rage. That is perfect. Very nice. Keep it going, guys. Blind rage. Start fighting one another. That's that's the that's the name of the game here. Gotta love the berserks, don't you? So short-sighted animals, they simply want to smash. What? We're being tracking marked? That stinks. Very nice, that's exactly what I wanted. Even more rage. Very nice. One more berserk down. Roby begins to move up. Running and gunning.
Eh, not sure if we can kill them. Moving over here is not a bad idea. I could benefit from the untouchable. He still has... Uh, he still has... Bladestorm. Oh my, they are in blind rage, they take whatever. Doesn't even matter for them. Stasis. Stasis. <sighs> I cannot express my discon uh, discomfort with uh, stasis. Well, now maybe one of our towers is going to go down. Didn't know that the Chosen could target them as well. I mean, it's only logical. Good. We're slowly but surely moving forward. I think the tower will survive it. Played some. There you go. Good job. That's the untouchable. So in case he's flanking him. Roby will take no damage. Mind control? Yeah, figured. Well, sucks being you. Yep, that's eight points of damage. Let's hope we're not getting another another tracking shot. As long as Roby is the target, I'm matter of fact fine with it. Alright, he goes into sustenance, that's fine, but we do have um, our blade storm, so we should be able to hit him. Moving on with our scout. We've seen that there is a group of advent right behind the target here.
Oh, look at that. The sector port is also right there. If we could kill it, that would be huge. Yep, sector port almost dead. Well, the sector port certainly is an easy target to hit. As long as it doesn't spot out our Reaper, we should be fine. Oh, we're fighting against another sector port. Well, that is unfortunate. But guess who's going to remote start this car? Damn right, it's -a me, Mario. Good, so that's an explosion of the sector port on top of it, which means the other sector port is going to take some extra damage. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we got 20% shots on the sector port. That's good. It's a start. Time for a solid cleanup. I think we're doing fine so far. What should we try this time? Maybe if they begin to cluster up a little bit more, we can use another, uh, or we can use a claymore mine. And it seems as if they are clustering up. Very much so. Careful, careful.
don't want to trigger too many of them. But we can certainly start killing all of the cars here. That will stop the timer. 25% on the sector port. That's okay. Slowly but surely we're grinding it down. Good. We officially stopped the timer. All of the enemy siege Excellent work, Commander. Which means we just need to kill the enemies now. It's time to make the elders proud. He's suggesting that there is someone like standing next to him. They're definitely starting to look for the Reaper. Okay, so can we hit someone? 30% chance to hit the sector pot. Thirty percent at the end of the day means one in three shots will hit him. So we just need to have enough shots. There we go. I think instead of exploding, although yeah, let's start with exploding the sector pod. I still want to be careful. A claymore mine is a nice little option here. I will go. But if we're being spotted out, we're in trouble again. Good, let's slowly migrate over. Run gun is almost okay again, which means if they would double move, they would still not see us, so might as well reload. And Overwatch. Alright, team. Let's get this done. Okay. 
Gotta use a claymore mine. This is just too clustered to not use it. Somehow he can still see Roby. Okay, none of the towers can reach anyone. If, if you say so. Moving closer. Reload and we are overwatching. Luckily for us, uh, he's not using his tracking shot onto the towers. So standing always in front of the towers absolutely makes sense. Moving over. I will reposition. A little bit of a repositioning. Yeah, five percent. I'm not going to take five percent shots unless absolutely necessary. Don't just run away, guys. The fuck is wrong with you? These annoying little buggers. Instead of fighting us, they're moving away. Wonderful. Keeping my eye on you. Vault says I am to obey. This here is a spot which is very hard for them to find. They could usually stand here or here, which would mean we're invisible here. I go where I'm Interestingly enough, they're moving away from us. Overwatch. The elders created you for this. Now it's time to prove your worth. A 
Not sure if we can throw that far, but if we can, <clears throat> this here would be an excellent option for a claymore. Oh my gosh, that would be such a good claymore. This guy is still running back and forth. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, let's hope they're not all directly going to run into me. By the way, can one of the towers hit the claymore? Probably not. No. Well, although the claymore is only 8 points of damage, if you hit 8 targets with it, it's 64 points of damage. Zero percent, nothing, nothing, nope, I effectively can't use them at the moment. Um, I think we're getting back into full cover. I don't want to overextend. And if they start coming into our direction, that's even better. Then we can hit them with the turrets. So we can clean those here up with our uh, with our reaper. The archons and andromedons will be a bit more difficult. They still have quite some health left, but if they cluster up again, we do have a second um, claymore. Rockets? No. Double movement. Yep, tracking shot. Come out, come out wherever you are. Still zero percent. Well, at least one has some decent chances of hitting. 40% on a mech. Nice, that's a good start. It's 14 to 16, and we're looking at what? 14 hit points? Deal.
murdered. So once these cluster up again, we can finish them. For now, everything else is too far away for the towers. But we're reeling them in, slowly but surely. Nice, that's a good cluster. He's forced to double move and he will face untouchable. Plus blade storm of course. <laughs> to end burning. Alright, I think we are well positioned. Damn, we can't hit anyone. 10 to 12. This guy has 9 hit points, so yep, that's a kill. In order to be more efficient, we're going to reload first, then kill him. Since we do have untouchable, I don't care about the fire. All right. I would like to run another grenade like right into this pack. Afterwards, I think it's possible to clean most of them up with the Reaper alone. Very good. There's the, there's the untouchable and the obligatory tracer shot, tracking shot. Don't know why exactly we're burning now. But maybe we can kill the purifier without the need to kill him with Roby. No, no. Fortunately, Roby is burning and I don't like that at all. But I do have an idea how we can get around it. He 
healing ourselves. That cleanse is burning. Run and gun. That will not be enough to kill him, but that will 100% be enough to kill him. Okay, we're down to the two packs right at the top of the map which hopefully stay where they are, because I've placed my Claymore there. Yep, seems to be the case. Fortunately, I threw the Claymore in a way that the tree seemed to like obscure the line of sight. That happens from time to time, really unfortunate. Short of the Andromedon, everyone else should be in the explosion radius. Ooh, we could remote start the car. But instead of doing that, I much rather like to kill most of them, or bring them at least in leather range. <laughs> Zero percent chance to hit, hit the Chosen. Unfortunate. I think we're soon going to be ready to kill all of uh, the other enemies and then go for the Chosen. So the Chosen is a bit clueless, it doesn't know where we are. I don't mind that at all. Don't want to be spotted out. Can we get any closer weapon range? Yeah, the problem is we can't get much closer than that. I think we're going to be fine. into a position where we can overwatch. And we're down to four enemies plus the Chosen. Correction, three enemies plus the Chosen. So 
This here is the more difficult pack for sure. Yeah, we don't have our rapid fire yet. I would say there is no disadvantage in just overwatching and letting them run into us. They are not triggered officially. Problem is I can't get 100% shots on most of them due to their high defense rating. Just a bit closer, guys. What kind of shots can I get? 82%. We could use another claymore, but that's just a wet fantasy. Two is more than enough. The Reaper is strong enough as a class. Okay, we could... I mean, we could go all in. Basically to here. And counting on uh, Bladestorm. Bladestorm would kill both of them. We can definitely kill the Andromedon. So normal shot would be minimum 10 damage. You know what? Let's use the axe to maybe get untouchable. He's burning, so yep, he will die. Work like a charm. I'm, I'm trusting you here. My life is in your hands. 
100% shot. Let's soften up the Andromedon shell. Not enough to completely kill it, but certainly enough to be able to kill it next turn. There is the untouchable, and the Andromedon doesn't have enough movement to reach us. Respectively, it does, but thanks to the preparation, it essentially was set up to be killed. Obi moves up. I will. Let's wait. If uh, I'm not sure if you're going to take us down, my friend. You seem to misread the situation quite a bit. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. Alright, we can't reach him with any of the turrets, so it's essentially us against him. I would just reload and count on my untouchable. He's maybe summoning some priests. Yep. Well, it is a problem, but what are we supposed to do? Okay, so reload. We gotta kill the priests first. Zero percent chance to hit. Fortunately, our towers are so far away. All right, moving up into full cover and let's finish the priest. Of course we won't because the priest is always his sustenance. Did I at some point mention that Advent priests just have a complete unfun set of skills? You can't kill them immediately they mind control in stasis, just to make it a little bit more annoying. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we're mind controlled. So what? Nothing. 
Nothing is happening during this time. Moving into a better position. No one will warn them. That takes care really of priest number one. No. No. There's always the chance that that the Chosen somewhat moves into our direction here at the towers. It takes a couple of extra hits. Yeah, can't really do anything against him yet. Mind control should should wear off soon. Good time to say thank you for the mind control. Bladestorm will finish the job here. I need to find out where the hunter is. Six hundred magazine. That's not bad. Where is the chosen? I'm just wondering, he used to be here. Only explanation that I have is he might be on his way to the XCOM towers over here. Strange, I'm wondering where he is. I'll watch closely. Okay. 
So time for us to open up to him. We theoretically could reach him, that's good. And now let's go with the banish. That should shred him completely. And we have multiple chances to execute him. Armor is gone. Banish, kinetic plating. This should deal a high amount of damage. Yep, 14. And 16. Probably going to take a shot now. There isn't much I can do against it. We don't have any form of um, protection. Fortunately, not critically hit. Six to seven, good chance to hit. Nine to ten, better chance to hit. Zero percent chance to crit. And we can't uh, kill him with either of these shots. Taking a normal shot. Let's hope he repositions. guess someone has made a small mistake by positioning themselves right there. there. Alright. Easy enough. At the end, it was only his, like, jumping from A to B that even made it a little bit uh, more exciting. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. That's fine. That's fine. Overall, successful defense. And there we go. Got the sector pod, which will help us with the highest uh, gremlin mark. And maybe we're starting with that, to be honest. From what I've been we can we can use the gremlins quite well. Yep, 
Yeah, there is so much month left over. I will do that in the next episode. The defense took way longer than I would have expected. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure. We are still holding on. And believe me, I do have a plan, although it takes some while to execute it. We are getting there, uh, but it's far from stabilized, as you have seen. Uh, even when, uh, when being played well, a defense mission can be quite uh, a challenge. Thank you so much, and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.